All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today's video is gonna be a short and sweet one, and it's gonna be on the topic of how easy it is to root fig cuttings. And I know a lot of you guys, you probably know that figs are very easy to root, especially when you compare them to many other species of fruiting plants. They're definitely one of the easiest things, easiest species to root from cutting, and really even the easiest to propagate. That's what makes them so fun. Um, but I found something interesting this year as I was inspecting the fig trees in this plot that I think a lot of you guys have probably never seen before. And that I was just looking down here at the base uh, because I covered this whole plot here with wood chips. And I noted that there were some suckers, what looked like really small shoots of, uh, uh, of a weak variety or a weak tree coming up from the soil line. It didn't look like your typical sucker that just shoots up and puts out a lot of vigorous growth. So I moved away the wood chips and realized that there's a lot of cuttings under here that are starting to root. And I had just very simply made cuts on a number of my trees and then dumped them here in this spot. And because I was covering my figs with the, by bending them over basically and covering them with wood chips, this whole plot got a big load of wood chips on top of it. And so did the cuttings that I, I cut. And so now they're basically rooting in 100% wood chips, which I just find to be incredible. They got through the entire winter of 7A without any problems. Um, it's hard to exactly know what the winter low was buried in these wood chips. I'm sure it was much higher than probably 20. I would guess at least 20. And then the other amazing part is it's now July, the following year, it's been almost a full year, probably nine months since I took the cuttings, threw them on the ground, um, and now they're actually forming roots and sending up new shoots. Uh, now, would I recommend you guys do this? No, but I just find this to be quite incredible. Let me show you just a quick close up here of some of the cuttings that I dug up. These are pretty darn nice. What I'm gonna do is actually cut them up into pieces. Here's a really fat one, which you can see the root primordia starting to grow there, but uh, it doesn't look like there's any new growth forming. So this one I probably won't, won't use. Here's another one right here. That looks awesome. You can see they're trying to grow through the wood chips by putting out this, this uh, growth here. Uh, let's see what else I got. Well, there's two I already put into pots right there, which I'm gonna really go through this plot a little bit more and figure out what I got. Here on the other side is a real long one, and you can see all the shoots that it's sending up here. And then there's the uh, roots down there at the bottom with other root primordia fo uh, forming along the cutting. Here's another one right here, which uh, it's just basically starting, it looks like. I'm not seeing too much at the beginnings there of root formation. What I do find to be amazing is that the bottom of the cutting, it has pretty much, well, moisture on all parts of the cutting, yet the bottom is the part of the cutting here that's rooting first. Um, and I'm sure there's others in here that I have yet to dig up. And probably I will see, knowing how many fig cuttings I didn't sell or do something with and just threw them on the ground, I wonder how many else there is gonna be coming up here in this plot or in other plots in my yard. Uh, so anyway, not saying you should do this on purpose, but that is exactly how easy it is to root fig cuttings. Thank you guys here for watching this one. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Check out the blog, figboss.com. Catch you for the next one. Take care.